Welcome everyone to this presentation on case study research design. In today's session, we will explore the fundamentals of case study research and its significance in investigating real world phenomena. By end of this presentation, you will have a clear understanding of what a case study research design entails and how it can be used to gain valuable insights. We will dwell deeper in case study by understanding the introduction, how to design, conduct a case study, analyze the results, benefits, limitation, and how finally write a case study. A case study is a detailed study of specific subjects, such as a person, group, place, event, organization, or phenomenon. Case studies are commonly used in social, educational, clinical, and business research. A study research design usually involves qualitative method, but quantitative methods are sometimes also used. Case studies are good for describing, comparing, evaluating, and understanding different aspects of a research problem. A case study is an appropriate research design when you want to gain concrete contextual, in-depth knowledge about a specific real-world subject. It allows you to explore the key characteristics, meanings, and implications of the case. Case studies are often good choice in a thesis or dissertations. They keep your project focused and manageable when you don't have the time or resources to do a large-scale research. You might use just one complex case study where you explore a single subject in depth or conduct multiple case studies to compare and illuminate different aspects of your research problem. Here are certain examples that how a research questions are and how you uh, convert your research questions and describe or evaluate your case study title. What are the ecological effects of wolf reintroduction? Case study of wolf reintroduction in Yellowstone National Park. How do you populist politicians use narrative about history to gain support? So I'm just taking all these names as an example. Okay, so you can see how this question or has been reframed or probably draft in a proper manner. Case study of Hungarian Prime Minister Victor and US President Donald. How can teacher implement active learning strategies in mixed level classroom? Your case study of local school that promotes active learning. What are the main advantages and disadvantages of wind farms of rural communities? Case studies of three rural wind farm development projects in different parts of country. How a viral marketing strategy is changing the relationship between companies and consumers. Case study of the iPhone X marketing campaign. How do experience of work in the gig economy differ by gender, race, and age? Case studies of Uber drivers, Delivero in London. Specifically where you are doing, you can mention that country. So there are some arguments for and against the case study research design. Before we move to the next slide, we'll understand those arguments. So some argue that because a case study is such a narrow field that its results cannot be extrapolated to fit an entire question and that they show only one narrow example. On the other hand, it is argued that a case study provides more realistic responses than a purely statistical survey. The truth probably lies between the two. And it is probably best to try and synergize the two approaches. It is valid to conduct case studies, but they should be tied in with more general statistical process. For example, a statistical survey might show how much time people spend talking on mobile phones, but it is case studies of a narrow group that will determine why this is so. The other main thing to remember during case study is their flexibility. Whilst a poor scientist is trying to prove or disapprove her hypothesis, a case study might introduce new and unexpected results during its course and lead to research taking new direction. The argument between case study and statistical method also appears to be one of scale. While many physical scientists avoid case studies for psychology, anthropology, and ecology, they are an essential tool 
So it is important to ensure that you realize that a case study cannot be generalized to fit a whole population or ecosystem. Finally, one peripheral point is that when informing others of your results, case studies make more interesting topics than purely statistical surveys, something that has been realized by teachers and magazines editors for many years. The general public has little interest in pages of statistical calculations, but some well-planned case studies can have a strong impact. So, I have given you the deeper understanding with the examples and what the argument says.